What's up guys? Today we're going to be showing you how to change a wheel bearing on a Polaris Razor while using Super ATV's wheel bearing removal tool. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and clean around the wheel bearing itself. Just take a rag, wipe it out. Usually if it's time to change a bearing, you're going to have a bunch of gunk in here and that's what caused the bearing to fail sand, water, dirt, debris, anything that can get in that bearing is going to prematurely destroy it. So wiping it out real good till we can see the snap rings exposed. So as you can see, you have your snap ring here and here. What we're gonna do is take our snap ring pliers. So this snap ring is being a little bit of a bear. So what I do usually is get it to where it's at this point, get it one side pulled up, and just kind of pull out. Just go through and just try to work the snap ring out all the way around. You just don't want to bend the snap ring up too much. Once you get one side of it out, typically what you can do is take your screwdriver, pinch it together again, and just keep working it around until all the tension's off of it, then you can peel it out of there. So just like that, as you can see, it wasn't wanting to compress, you know, whatever happened when it was installed, maybe it wasn't all the way in. There's multiple things. The only thing that really matters is that you get the snap ring out without damaging it. All right, so now we're gonna grab our wheel bearing removal tool out of our kit. You're gonna find a O-ring inside of there. You wanna put that on the smaller side of this piece right here. So as you can see, we have it on there just like that. This is what's going to be going on the inside up against the back side of the bearing. So we'll set that aside for a moment. You're also going to have two big washers and two nuts. This piece right here is going to go up against the knuckle. This piece right here is cut to where it slides into this piece just like this. So this would be slid up against here just like so. And that's what you're actually going to pull your bearing into. So what I like to do is take this piece, go ahead and get it slid into the back side, just like this. So once we have this piece slid into the inner race of the bearing, just like so, we're gonna take our piece with our all thread. As you can see, we have one of our big washers, one of our nuts started. This piece all fits together. It'll slide through, just like this. And then on the other side, we're gonna go ahead and take our big flat washer, slide it on, and then run our nut all the way up. Just like this. Now I like to go ahead and get it hand tight. Then what we're gonna do is put a wrench on one side and impact on the other, tighten it up and it's gonna pull the bearing through and it's gonna drop the bearing right in here. All right, so what I'm doing here is I want the least amount of thread exposed possible on the outside because that's where I'm gonna be putting my impact. So obviously, our socket's not gonna be long enough if we have too much thread exposed right off the bat. So we want the most amount of thread exposed on the inside. So it should look something like this right here. We're gonna take our 24 millimeter wrench, put it on the inside, take our 24 millimeter impact, or socket on an impact on the outside, and then hold onto it tight and hammer down. All right, so once you feel the pressure relief and you have the bearing pushed out, what you're gonna do is take the nut off the back side. We'll just set this nut aside and also grab your washer, set it aside as well. Then pull the piece of all thread out. Then grab your bearing, pull it off of your O-ring because that's exactly what it's there for is to hold it. And there, as you can see, we have an old, nasty, crusty bearing that was in our knuckle. We're gonna go ahead and discard this bearing and we'll just toss it in the trash. The next thing that we're gonna be looking for as far as a wear component that you may need to change on your machine, uh, just like I was showing you earlier, on the hub, you know, you can wear the hub out, but you can also pit out the casting here on your rear knuckle. So what I like to do is just go ahead and wipe it all down really good. Get it good and clean. I'll probably grab some brake clean here in just a second. Wipe this all out. But what we're looking for is any deep 
marks or gouging or anything like that of the surface. This one has a little bit, um, I would say that we're good to go to press a bearing into it, but I'd say the next time we got to change a wheel bearing, we're probably going to have to put a rear knuckle as well as a rear hub on this machine. Like I said, it has a lot of miles on it. Uh, it's a 2018 model machine. It's been rode hard and it's just what happens. All right, so now we have a brand new Super ATV bearing. You can pick these up off the website. The part number for this is gonna be a WB-002. That's gonna fit the rear and the front of your Polaris Razor XP1000 and XP Turbo. So what we're gonna do is slide this bearing in. You wanna make sure that you get it in straight. You can kind of wiggle it around and you'll feel when it starts to go in straight. And you just wanna look at it. All right, so we got that bearing started good and straight. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our tool, flip our O-ring around to the opposite side, get it slid in just like this. The process is gonna be exactly the same, just in the opposite format. So we're gonna grab our tool, Run it through on this side. Make sure you have a washer. Again, run your nut all the way out to where it just has a couple threads. That way you can get your impact on it nice and easy. We'll slide this all the way through, just like so. And we're gonna come onto the back side and install this just like this. We're gonna slide this inside of the knuckle, just like so. We'll take this piece, slide it under our all thread, and make sure it centers up onto that piece and then put our nut on and then again just run your nut down until it's hand tight and then obviously before you start pressing on this just make sure that that wheel bearing is good and straight otherwise it's probably not going to go in very good ours looks good so we're going to go ahead and get our impact and our sock and our wrench and send her on in there See how fast that is? He almost didn't even catch it. So take your nut off, take your washer, pull this piece out of the bearing. We'll pull this piece out as well and go ahead and set it aside. Then we're gonna be ready to grab our snap ring pliers and go ahead and reinstall our snap ring. I like to get it kind of started on one side just like that. We just grab our snap ring, squeeze it together, pop it in there. All right, guys, so I hope this helped. That's exactly what you have to do in any situation you may run into when replacing a wheel bearing using the Super ATV wheel bearing removal and replacement tool on this Polaris Razor XP Turbo or XP1000. Uh, for more information on this, be sure to give us a call or check us out online at superatv.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.